Well, abortion rights are in the news, and I, I gotta say I saw this coming. You know who didn't? Susan Collins, or so she says. I served with Collins for eight and a half years, but I, I wasn't there when after meeting with Brett Kavanaugh, Collins told the press, Judge Kavanaugh told me that Roe v. Wade was settled law. We had a very good, thorough discussion about that. Now, I am not a lawyer, but I played one in a sketch, and I knew that settled law can be unsettled by the Supreme Court. Actually, any idiot in the Senate, except maybe uh, Ron Johnson, maybe Marsha Blackburn, knows that. Now, in the Kavanaugh hearings, Dianne Feinstein asked Kavanaugh, is Roe settled law? And he just went on and on about it. Roe v. Wade is an important precedent of the Supreme Court. It's been reaffirmed many times. It was reaffirmed in Planned Parenthood versus Casey in 1992 when the court specifically considered whether to reaffirm it or whether to overturn it. In that case, uh, in great detail, the three justice opinion of Justice Kennedy, Justice Souter, and Justice O'Connor went through all the factors, the stare decisis factors, analyzed those, and decided to reaffirm Roe. That makes uh, Casey precedent on precedent. It's been relied on. Casey itself has been cited as authority in subsequent cases, such as Glucksburg and other cases. Uh, so that precedent on precedent is quite important. Now, why didn't Feinstein or the next Democrat on the committee not ask, okay, what you just said is, is completely meaningless, right? I mean, you could very easily vote to overturn Roe, right? Oh, uh, yeah. In Justice Alito's opinion to overturn Roe, he wrote, quote, the Constitution makes no express reference to a right to obtain an abortion. He's right. The Constitution does not make any express reference to the right to obtain an abortion. Coincidentally, the Constitution also makes no express reference to women. That's right, women are not mentioned in the Constitution, not once. Now, the Constitution did expressly mention voting rights, which were limited to white men who own property. Isn't it remarkable that these white male property owners didn't think to include anything expressly about obtaining the right to abortion in the Constitution? Well, I guess abortion was illegal in colonial America. Actually, abortion was not just legal, it was safe, condoned, and a practice procedure in colonial America. So the big question, who was the leaker? We don't know. Well, Ted Cruz knows. This is what he told Fox News. There was some angry left-wing law clerk who breached the trust to his or her justice, who breached the trust to the Supreme Court, who breached the trust to the American people, and took a first draft of an opinion and decided to leak it to everyone. Now again, pretty much everybody else is saying they don't know who the leaker is. Some are saying it could easily be a conservative clerk who released it to lock in Kavanaugh, Gorsuch, Thomas, and Coney Barrett. I mean, now that their names are on Alito's opinion, imagine the crap they'd take if they jump ship. This is why I believe the leaker is Samuel Alito. I take that back. I know it's Alito. I'm sure because I'm me. And like Cruz, I like to make provocative statements that are not just ridiculous, but also extremely irresponsible and dangerous. Now, here's Ted on COVID on July 22nd, 2020. If it ends up that Biden wins in November, I hope he doesn't. I don't think he will. But if he does, I guarantee you the week after the election, suddenly all those Democratic governors, all those Democratic mayors will say, everything's magically better. Go back to work. Go back to school. Suddenly the problems are solved. You won't even have to wait for Biden to be sworn in. Now, this gave a lot of Cruz supporters a lot of confidence. One of them was this man, Vernon T. Jarvis, Jr., of Joplin, Missouri. Tell you one thing, 
Ted Cruz is a guy I can trust. Now, if he says there's no COVID, well then, there's no COVID. It's all fake. What Ted said has convinced me that I'm going to go to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally this year in South Dakota for 500,000 other rowdy bikers. Now, frankly, I, I was a little hesitant to go this year till I heard Ted. Ted is a straight shooter, and I, for one, so trust his judgment and honesty and integrity that I'm just going to go f***ing crazy in Sturgis. Unfortunately, less than a month later, Jarvis died at age 54 in the Sturgis ICU. I've yet to hear Cruz apologize for the tens of thousands of deaths that he alone caused. But let's get back again to Alito's completely disingenuous point. The Constitution makes no express reference to a right to obtain an abortion. True, the Constitution makes no express reference to the right to obtain an abortion, but there were some side conversations at the convention in which the framers were a little more free-spoken. Good to see you, Franklin, you old bounder. Say, what's your latest invention? I'm glad you asked, Livingston, an abortion patient. An abortion patient? How marvelous. Yes, I've been playing with various combinations of herbs and seem to have hit on one with mugwort that does the trick every time. I don't like it, Franklin. I love it. <laughs> Say, nobody's taking notes, are they? Uh, no. No, no. Very good. Hey, say, Mr. Randolph, let me ask you, do you provide abortions for your slaves? Well, only when I'm the father. I uh, certainly would not want Mrs. Randolph to see a lot of mixed-race children who look a lot like me running around the plantation. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, in the South, we frown on abortion because every newborn slave is of tremendous value. So we in the South discourage abortion for the slaves. Uh, no, no one's taking notes around here, are they? No, no, of course not, we're gentlemen. Say, does anyone want to take their wig off? No, 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 they're doing the portrait soon. Keep your wigs on. Oh damn, because it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> But indeed, James Madison had taken copious notes, many surreptitiously, thus leaving the only record of any discussion of abortion at the 1789 Constitutional Convention. Well, see you next time when Samuel Alito says, the Constitution makes no reference to protecting in vitro fertilization. <laughs>